So basically, here's the thing is, as musicians, uh, one of the rewards that we get for finishing creative things is we get this uh, this boost of kind of dopamine. It's 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 like it's like a drug, you know, it's like a soccer player uh, scoring a, a, a goal or something like that. Right. You get that certain boost. Uh, the problem is that now we get that boost for doing absolutely nothing um, and we're addicted to it, you know, and that is uh, the time suck of social media and what I like to call the reaction. So basically what it is, is we are constantly looking to be, have people approve of our opinions and what we say and what we do and, and what have you. And we get a boost when we get a reaction, when we get a notification or some sort of thing. And we also get involved in conversations that require a response, which means you get locked in to all of these uh, needless conversations. And I do the same thing, especially with uh, all the political stuff going on. It's really hard to keep your mouth shut, um, but it's a huge time suck. And once again, it drains you um, and it makes real accomplishments not seem all that much because it's so easy to get that that dopamine rush uh, just from someone giving you a thumbs up or liking a post or commenting or sharing something of yours. And it's not to say that you shouldn't post and want, you know, people to agree with you and have some sort of a conversation. But if you're constantly checking back and checking back and checking back and continuing these conversations, how much time are you going to have to be creative and actually do something of true value, right? Um, I can much easily uh, debate someone on, on Facebook instead of doing these live streams. You know what I mean? But it, it's, it's really a waste of time. And what I recommend to you is that as far as social media, first off, you should really limit uh, how often you're, you're on social media, even though I'm broadcasting this on social media. So one trick that I do is... Um, Anyone that I find inspiring, I go into uh, their page and go to notifications and I pick see first. Mm -hmm. So that way I get like all the posts from positive people and less posts from uh, from people that, that trigger a reaction that's negative. Um, and if you like what I post, feel free to do that. You know, go and uh, change the notification to see first and then you'll see posts like mine uh, first when you're up and around. But what I would uh, consider you do uh, for example, I know that after I finish this, I will at some point look and see what kind of reaction it got. It's just a natural thing. But I can't get myself caught up on that. Um, and as a creator, you can't get yourself caught up on people's reaction. In other words, when you finish something and you put it out into the world, it's really no longer yours to judge. It's it's theirs. And you've got to just let, let it go and let them think what they're going to think and not obsess over what other people think of your work what you should be doing is getting on to your next project right away instead of sitting around and waiting for that feedback to come. The feedback will come, uh, but you don't have to, you don't have to sit there waiting for it and waiting for that approval before you go on and, and do your next creative project. You know, the one who wins is the one that just keeps on putting out valuable stuff. Uh, you know, something that they use their creativity for. Right. So that's essentially what I wanted to bring up is trying to break the habit of being so reactive with a, a number of things and being not being afraid to turn off your internet or turn off your phone or you know stop the notification so that you're not mm -hmm. constantly getting hit minute after minute by a text or by whatever I mean I I just got two messages right now um, on my phone just jumping out at me like that that's distracting um, and it happens all day long to all of us so I have a, a little bit of a challenge for you guys that I think will really improve you creatively, all right? The first one I already alluded to is try to become a broadcaster. Try to put something out of value, of positive value for people, right? Try to improve people's day, but then leave it alone, you know? Just like a song would be where you just put it out and let people react or do whatever. Just post and be on to the next thing. It's gonna be much more inspiring for a lot of people. You'll become more inspiring the less available you make yourself on a constant basis because you're using that time to do something else productive, right? So the first thing that I would uh, recommend to you guys is each night before you go to sleep, write down, and you might have a, a list of things already that you made like a to-do list or something like that. But if you don't, write down the three most important things for you to accomplish that day. And each thing, 
should be, you know, it should take you no more than two hours to accomplish. So if something's going to take eight hours to accomplish, then that would probably be broken down into four different steps, right? So each one of those steps should actually be the thing on your list. And you don't want any more than three in a day. You'll be lucky if you get those three done. And if you do, you know, pat yourself on the back. Because um, usually, you know, you've only got a, a few productive hours, especially if you're working a nine to five job or whatever. You don't have a whole lot of time uh, for your creative uh, endeavors. But anyway, write down three things. Um, you can either do it like three things of just that you want to do and just make one of them a creative step. But if you're if you're making music one of your priorities, right? You want to make sure to not just put work work on music or work in studio or get in studio or whatever. You actually want to write specifically what you want to accomplish in the current song that you're working on. That way every day you're kind of taking the ball a few yards further, you know, until you reach the goal line, right? So that's what you would do the night before. And then when you get up in the morning, do not check your phone or your computer for any social media or email. Leave that until after you've kind of knocked something out, right? Um, whoever needs to contact you, they, they can wait. It's all good. Um, it, you know, the emails and the, the posts are not going anywhere. So the first thing that you should do in the morning is look at your list and then Obviously, you're looking at the first thing on your list, and you're not. You can ignore the rest of everything. Uh, first thing on your list, and then consider the exact tools that you need to accomplish that. This way, you know specifically what you're going to use, what you're going to open, and then you could avoid everything else, so you don't get trapped in just getting lured into internet bullshit, right? If you need to do something on the internet, you should have a very specific thing that you're doing, and you should even set a timer. Um, that way you're in and you're out and it just reminds you to stay back on, stay on track with whatever you're doing. So that, that's the first thing that I would do in the morning. Once you have finished a couple hours of work, even 50 minutes of work, it, it, you know what, you, you could stay on the same task, but spend, spend 50 minutes straight. And what I would do is just set an alarm for 50 minutes and that would leave a the tail end of your hour, the last 10 minutes. And then you could kind of do whatever you want, right? Um, and that first 10 minutes, maybe you want to check your email real quick. Maybe you want to uh, check your social media. And you also got that 10 minute time limit before you got to jump back into your, your next uh, step, right? And this pretty much guarantees that every day you know what you need to accomplish. So you're not like just kind of wishy-washy about it and end up watching TV because you forget like what you're going to do. And that's what happens with me. If I don't write things down, I literally forget what I need to accomplish. And I will, um, I'll go a whole day like thinking I really don't have any work to do, you know, but if I actually thought about it every day, uh, before going to sleep, uh, putting things on the list, which I become better and better at as time goes on, uh, I would accomplish and I always accomplish more. And I also always feel much better because I'm getting, uh, a real feeling of accomplishment instead of like a fake feeling of accomplishment from, uh, getting reactions on, on social media and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, uh, all I had to say, you know, then, then all you do is once you finish your first task, you go to the next task and you repeat the process. And this has really, really helped me. I know it's, I, I'm not teaching you guys how to make like web bases and all that sort of stuff in this video, but this is so much more important. You know, I know that a lot of people on here, like probably, don't connect with, with these sorts of messages. But I really encourage you to, to rethink it because the fact that you don't connect with these sort of messages kind of is a symptom of many of the problems that you might be having when it comes to finishing tunes. So uh, that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great night. Whenever you decide to watch this, right now it's about 9 p.m. my time. Uh, beautiful day in Denver, uh, beautiful night as well. And um, I hope wherever you're at, you're having a good one. Take care, guys. Talk soon.